Hello everybody, my name is Pat Show, and today we're gonna take a look at the Smash uh, pre-E3 stream, but uh, I got, we got about a minute left, so I'm just gonna refresh the page, because we know what is gonna happen because of yesterday's leak, so, uh, come on, just refreshing the page. And I think it's best if I close some tabs. Some of these tabs are kind of worthless right now, so, and I can always bring them back up. We should minimize that. Come on. Come on, load. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, thank you. Oh, oh, son, son. Oh, come on. Really? Really? Come on. Come on, come on. Oh, the the real Roy, of course. Wish you knew from the other day. <laughs> it's not Smash Bros. Oh. Okay, okay, Roy. Hello, I'm Masahiro Sakurai from Sora. Let's cut right to the chase. In Super Smash Brothers for Wii U and Nintendo 3DS, Roy is returning to the series. Mm -hmm. Last time, Roy appeared as a fighter in Super Smash Brothers Melee. Unlike Marth, Roy's sword is stronger at its base, so you'll want to keep your opponents close when using him. With enhanced so another strength, he's significantly more. more powerful now than he was in Super Smash Bros. Melee. Okay. His design received an overhaul too. Mm -hmm. His original look has been updated to look more in line with the times. In Melee, he didn't have a final smash, but this time he'll deliver a devastating sword oh. blow and move straight out of Fire Emblem. Will be made available mm -hmm. alongside the revival of Lucas. Oh, where's back it's from it's Super it's Smash it's Brothers uh, Melee? And Lucas uh, returns from Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Of the many fighters from past versions, I hope fans are happy to have back these two that were particularly popular. Here's the price information for each. Okay, so Next, some new new fighter bucks. costumes. Wait. Eight bucks Get in ready total. for some unexpected titles. Suit up for wave two. Oh. oh. <laughs> Battle Network. EXE. Freaking love EXE. EXE was freaking awesome. <laughs> PM this is gonna be like 20 minutes. So. That's just kind of awkward, like, you kind of that. So, dude. And this was all leaked the other day, but, like, gosh, well, almost all this was leaked yesterday. Virtual Fighters. Check out the store, see if they have anything. As for new Mii Fighter costumes, there's Virtua Fighter. Mm -hmm. Jackie's costume is a leather jacket based on his most recent design. A 
Kira's well, harkens back to his blocky design. Well, what was the last Virtua Fighter game? Like, seriously. Now the legendary 3D fighting game Virtua Fighter is represented in Super Smash Brothers. We hope you like it. And because of series popularity, we're adding in costumes for Mega Man EX EXE and Zero from Mega Man X. Isabel from Animal Crossing and even the Inklings from Splatoon. It looks kind of awesome. Let's not forget in-game Splatoon trophies too. Mm. Here oh, are the prices look, for these additional me costumes. They're going under maintenance. Maintenance right now to add the DLC. By the way, while we've released many amiibo already, these amiibo are finally on their way. Ah, uh, me fighters. These include. I don't have me brawler, you know. Me sword fighter. I don't have any and amiibos. All these people you can are trying to any of these DLC. Freely, meaning you can dress them up in DLC costumes too. Create a face to your liking and pick a matching costume to expand your use of these amiibo. There are other Super Smash Bros. series amiibo coming too. First, three classic game stars. Mm -hmm. Rob, Duck Hunt, and Mr. Game & Watch. Then comes Falco. As you can see, wow. Mr. Game & Watch is flat, and he comes with a number of different poses you can swap out. Oh, that's cool! All these amiibo figures will be available this September. Oh, that's nice! Eventually, all 51 fighters from Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and Nintendo 3DS will be released as amiibo. What about the one that Having comes out Having all these DLC? characters appearing in the same set like this, there's nothing else quite like it. Of course, you can level them up one by one. Mewtwo and Lucas Amiibo will be released as well. You can check for more details and release dates on the official Roy. Amiibo site. And, you know, and finally, we're releasing Ryu. more stages. Okay, new stages. Is this also available for 3DS as well? Brings back memories, doesn't it? Oh, yes. This is Dreamland. It's a Kirby stage from the original Super Smash Bros. game on Nintendo 64. We've intentionally replicated the original style, but we did renew certain parts. Of course, this stage also has an Omega form. We've recreated this stage yeah. for both the Wii U and Nintendo 3DS versions. The price is listed right here. I don't think we can add too many more stages, but we're planning a couple more from the original Super Smash Whoa. Brothers game. Here's a little taste. Oh, Hyrule Castle! Oh, that stage is like... Yo, RJ from Game Play, you don't have to recreate anymore. The Miiverse stage is finally coming to the Wii U version. During matches while connected to the internet, you'll start to see Miiverse posts appear, cheering fighters on in the background. Aww. Oh. These messages will be fueled by your support. We'll be opening a Miiverse community for each wait, character, wait, wait, so wait. if you post your messages there, they'll show up in the background of players' matches. I'm sure it's exciting to think that your posts will appear in someone else's matches, so please participate. On the bonus CD that was available from Club Nintendo, there are some songs that you may never have actually heard in the game. They're from this Miiverse stage. I hope you like this music too. Hmm. As for the price, free. yes, the Miiverse stage is free to enjoy. Now for an announcement. All tournament mode is. The new tourneys mode will feature community tourneys where you can compete for the highest points in a certain amount of time, as well as regular tourneys which only happen at certain times just like real tournaments. We already finished developing both types, but we want to make sure we test out the online features thoroughly, so please wait just a bit longer. Uh. <laughs> We're planning to begin supporting them in August, so stay tuned. Two months away. Okay. I guess we can wait. There's another new feature in the works. 
Super Smash Bros. for Wii U will soon allow you to post replay videos on YouTube. Until now, when you applied updates, your old data would usually cease to be compatible with the updated version. But with this new replay posting feature, you can record videos and post them on All YouTube. All about for 3DS. They'll be normal video files, so you can view them from your PC or smartphone no, too. 3DS support too. To use this feature, you'll need a Google account. For details, please check the official site after the service begins. You know, get some support for now. For the final too. announcement, please take a look. Ryu, <laughs> Ryu. Uh. <laughs> I'm looking for a <laughs> fight. That <laughs> was revealed yesterday. Why can't so people smash. wait? Come on. Just have two ball smashes. You must defeat my Shoryuken to stand a chance. So checking on the VDS. <laughs> Tekken. Thank you for Tekken? waiting. Ryu of the Street Fighter series joins the fight. He arrives in Super Smash Bros. seeking powerful opponents. He's being created to most closely being resemble his Street Fighter or... 2 form. In that game, there were six buttons, but Smash focuses on two. Yet somehow, he'll have a wide range of moves at his disposal. Even his low attacks have light, medium, and heavy versions. That's because the move you activate depends on whether you tap the button or press and hold the button. You can use completely different moves from light to heavy by holding the button longer. Rapidly tap the button to chain attacks or hold it longer for a strong attack. This is important when using Ryu. You even have a weak side attack or a strong side attack. You can use familiar Street Fighter moves too. Collarbone Breaker is a great shield breaking move. And Jodan Sokutogeri is a move from Street Fighter 3. In general, Ryu is geared toward dealing out combo attacks. Some of these combos appear in Street Fighter games, and there are some new ones too. And of course, his signature move. You can activate a Hadouken with the press of a button. Remember, you can change the speed of the move by altering how long you press and hold it down. For the Hadouken, we've also accommodated Street Fighter's familiar command inputs. If you enter its original command, the move is a bit stronger. <laughs> Another really? type of Hadouken, the Shakunetsu Hadouken, can be activated by entering a Yoga Flame command. Yeah, no. There's also the Hurricane no. Kick. It's hugely destructive, and it can be used for what? movement too. What? Now, uh. for the invincible finishing move, the Shoryuken. You can activate a Shoryuken with just one button press, but if you enter the original command input, there's a good chance you will KO your opponent. Try making contact at the start of the uh. If you input the command correctly, the character's voice and effects will change, so trust me, you'll know. Uh, I'm not good with that. His down special move is called a focus attack. It lets you take a hit from your opponent and stun them. Keep pressing the button to increase its power. If you hit the opponent, press forward twice to cancel the animation and dash, then attack. And, 
Ryu has of two course. final smashes. He's the first fighter in Super Smash Bros. history to have that. If you perform his final smash the normal way, it's a Shinku Hadouken. It'll hit surrounding opponents as well. Pull it off next to an opponent. And you'll have the chance to seal the deal. Longer hit stop frames, different hit sound effects, and more. We developed this fighter to highlight his special characteristics. I hope you enjoy playing as him. I'm going to try to play as soon. We're also releasing the new stage, Suzaku Castle. The right side provides stable footing, while the left side has smaller separated platforms. That means your strategy needs to adapt to the side you're on. And when you launch your opponent at close range, you can actually destroy the signs. In Omega form, it looks even closer to the original game. <laughs> the stage will appear on both Wii U and Nintendo 3DS versions. For the background music, you can select the theme from Ryu's stage in the original game. During battle, the music will switch to a different theme when you near the end of the match. Uh, okay. That's also new to the Smash series. I should mention, in the Wii U version, Ken's original stage theme is included, and a remix too. There's even a remix of the theme from Ryu's stage. This one was arranged by Street Fighter II's sound composer, Ms. Yoko oh, Shimomura. Yakshimura. Plus, the character's illustration was done by the original character designer, oh. Akiman. Oh. Pretty scary. That, that, that we featured. We've also included a Ryu trophy and a Ken trophy, too. You can, of course, get these in-game trophies just by playing the game. We put a lot of effort into implementing Ryu into these games. Enjoy! Ryu and Suzaku Castle come as a set for the prices you see on screen. So I basically got to spend like oh, 11 bucks. Oh, I almost forgot. It's somewhat unrelated, but representing Tekken mm -hmm. is Heihachi with a Mii Fighter costume. You can sport his unique hairstyle too. Three top fighting games have now united in Super Smash Bros. Please enjoy. We've already decided to create Amiibo of Roy and Ryu as well. Hmm. The release timing hasn't been finalized next yet, year. but please check back on the official M Amiibo likely site it's later. Gonna be next year. Okay, let's review everything. Ryu, Roy, Lucas, Akira, Jackie, Isabel, Mega Man EXE, I'm Zero. just getting fights. I don't care Inkling about boy the and Inkling costumes. Girl, Squid Hat. Hey Hachi. Dreamland. The, the sages and the fighters. The those are things I'm getting. Suzaku Castle. Omega form stages. The bonus trophies. Ryu. Ken. Roy. Lucas. And Splatoon. You can also get these special trophies by completing All-Star Mode. All of these will be released today. Available in-game or from the Nintendo eShop. The servers may experience quite a bit of traffic. Yeah. Give it some time and try again if you experience any difficulties. I'm gonna try by like Thanks for watching today's presentation. Be sure to tune in later today for the Nintendo World Championships 2015. So yeah. That, well, that was a lot of stuff taken. My 3DS is currently trying to update. Well, Smash is currently trying to update. So, uh, yeah. Just when you guys see that, it's going very slowly. I am only getting the fighters and the stages. And that's it. That's it because uh, the update's going so slow. <laughs> oh, well, I guess that's it for this this live reaction for the Smash Bros. new content approaching. Uh, 
<laughs> and I see Andre on <laughs> on Game Explained just like, oh, Hyrule Castle confirmed. <laughs> uh, yep. So that's it for the reveal of the new content, like thing you guys watching. If you guys like what you saw, what you see, don't forget to subscribe, like, favorite, share with all your friends, check out links in the description below. And I will be doing, you know, reactions to basically all the conferences that's going to be happening this week of E3. So hype. So basically, you're going to get two videos a day for this week. So we got... I'm, I'm not going to be doing Microsoft because Microsoft is interesting. I'm going to be watching, but it won't interest me. I'm going to be doing Sony, and I'm going to be doing Nintendo, and it's great. So keep an eye out for three videos. Sony, Nintendo, and Squeenix. Those three this week. Oh, that's going to be hype. I'll see you guys then. Power out. Yeah.